Hey everybody, Cameron Van Hoy here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Always good to be back. Thanks for joining me. I want to talk about writing. You know, sometimes, a lot of times for me, I can get really stuck. I can overthink. I can overanalyze. I never know when to shut it off. And I'm never happy with any of the ideas, you know? I'm always searching and changing my mind and, and discovering new things. Or I don't know, have you ever had this experience? You write something and then come back to it a day later, a week later, and just not really feel like it's it. And not that it's bad. You know, you're just kind of second guessing yourself. You're like, well, that, that is good. But, you know, what if it went this way? Or what if it goes that way? Or what's the genre really? And then you start going, oh, well, actually, this could be cool. I mean, this could be a horror film. This could be a thriller. This could be a straight drama. And you start thinking of all the different ways that you could compartmentalize and tell this story. And there are many ways to tell various stories within various genres. I mean, look at someone like Ari Aster, right? The director behind uh, Midsummer, um, as an example. You know, when he was writing his films, he was always interested. I, I heard him talk about how he wanted to tell stories that were like family dramas, but under the guise of, under the disguise of um, horror films, genre movies. And I think that's wonderful. I think it's wonderful to want to do something that's maybe dramatic or personal, but layer it underneath or pepper it in with a genre. I mean, it's a very smart for meeting the marketplace uh, where the market is. Um, and so I often am always changing and I'm always trying to rethink and will write. And, and I do this. I've done this on so many of my films all the way up until shooting and pre and shooting. I'm just always rethinking, reworking and not second guessing and not believing in it. And I'm just being very frank with you. It happens to me all the time. And I was thinking about this a lot recently with something new that I'm, that I'm writing. And I was just like, God, you know, how do you settle on anything? Because, you know, so many of the paths that you could go are valid. So how do you settle? And I really think the key is making it personal. I believe the key to this, if you experience this ever, if you have, or if you ever come across this, the key is to make it personal. Write something that's really personal to you. If you're ever searching and, and wandering and, and, and trying to find and change and you're not satisfied and it's not sticking, it's because it's not personal enough. That's what I think. I think in those instances, the more that you can pull from your experiences, your understanding and your emotions, the more personal you can make your work, the less you will have that issue the more you will be comfortable in your choices. Because that's, that's all we have at the, end of the, at the end of the day is our choices, our creative choices. What do we want to do creatively? What do we want to say? Finding your voice is a journey. It's a journey that we all go on as artists and creators and storytellers. And it's one that we never, it's a journey we never stop taking, hopefully. You know, but the more you do it, the more you create work and get feedback, by the way, get people's responses, whether you like them or not, whether you get destroyed or uplifted, whatever the response is, that feedback allows you to further develop, refine your voice. But making it personal will really help you to make choices. I remember uh, Mark Rydell, wonderful director and writer, um, someone I got close with, would often say, make the bloodiest choices. Well, what is the bloodiest choice? The bloodiest choice is the one that 
has the most blood it has the most pain it has the most struggle it has the you know that's the bloodiest choice those are the best choices and what's the bloodiest for you or for anyone it's it's the most personal stuff my thought on the topic let me know what you think thanks for stopping by talk soon